TCS series. The TCL series six was long been a great way to get a great TV experience at a responsible price. It's also been pretty up to date with never TV technologies and decent model over something much loved QLED tech for brighter, more vibrant color. Until recently, however, this TV was the only available with Roku. With Roku is a great. With some prefer Google software experience. Thankfully, that's responsible with the TCL Series 6 with Google TV. The TV offers Bonoli everything you already love. With operating system, that means that you will get deeper integration with Google services on top of the excellent image quality at under thousand dollars. In the six series with Google TV as a good as the Roku model. <coughs> and does it beat out the competition from the like of Asinas and Vigos. We reviewed the 65R64-6 model to find it. TCL 6 series design and setup. <coughs> the TCL series 6 is designed pretty differently than most other TVs in the page range, price range and it's where a bit more premium it was. It was a nice bushed metal edge around it. It a completely bezel-less display save for the bezel at the bottom which is built with the same material. The back of the TV is made from plastic but it's not a huge issue. Given the fact you want to look at the back of all that much but there are some downsides to the design thought the completely bezel less look seems to me that the tv is a little thicker than much of the competition i don't really mind that though it's also quite heavy for a tv of this side TCL was made an effort to help you create a cleaner look as your TV the legs for example let you thread cables through them which avoids having cables dangle at the back of the TV I really appreciate touches like this things that are often only found on one experience options one of the bag is where you will find all the TV sports and their solid selection. There you will get four side facing the HDMI sports, one of which sports eras, two of the port sports HDMI 2.1, two so you will be able to take advantage of the high refresh rates on offer by new gaming consoles. Getting the TV, setting the TV part, it pretty easy through. You will need two people to do it, especially if you have the 65 inch model like. You will uh, simply scratch in the legs. Plug with plug the TV in and you should be good to good. There are two leg position where which is nice. Nice to meet you. The remote looks fine that it's pretty basic. You will use it is mostly control the Google TV software and easily is banking 
on you mostly using their software in fact you have to press this setting button scroll down to input then select your new input just to change to another input many modern devices you will will work with HDMI CEC along the TV to automatically switch but it should still be easier to switch manually TCL 6 series software the big difference between this TV and other 6 series TVs in the fact that which one comes with the Google TV operating system built into it you can still get the TV with Roku you will have to sacrifice the HDMI 2.1 port from HDMI 2.20 setting up Google TV is pretty easy and you have good Google smart home devices before you can do it straight through the Google home app the app can sign up you into your Google account and transfer content which makes the setup process that extra bit easier generally I like Google TV but then again I already I already like this procedure Android TV Google TV is laid out with rows of content that I think you might like a follow by a row of app and then more rows of content given the fact that we have so many streaming services these days I like the content first approach it can be hard to know that content is where the recommendation system seems to work pretty well it generally recommended content that I would find interesting through Google TV you will get other tracks too for example the operating system of Google Assistant, Google Cast and support for Google Home if you are an Android user and plugged into Google ecosystem or TV with Google TV is the way to go Google TV also sports Alexa Alexa rank but you want get support for Apple economic system export for Google TV plus app generally the TCL series 6 was responsive now there were times when it slowed down a little and took a few seconds to respond into input but it performed far better than around TVs for 5 years ago not a launch many reviews noted a buggy software experience I didn't run into the any software issues through so it seems as though TCL was fixed many of them TCL 6 performance easily the big thing about the TCL series 6 was nothing to do with the software it was to do with image quality the latest model over LQTD tech that makes for a bright vibrant image plus their mini LED backlighting for deeper black levels the result the TV look excellent in all situation one of the most things about this TV for me earned in the fact that the display panel was quick uniform and there was little dirty screen effect of course your mileage may vary but given the fact that other review have highlighted the panel uniformity it seems like TCL was done a good job at maintaining a solid panel quality the TV is very bright both is SDR and HDR content the TV sport door by vision and HDR 10 plus and obviously content it is format looks better than otherwise 
but the TV still delivered an excellent image with older content and content seemed at 180p. Not only is the TV bright than needed you, but it's also able to deliver excellently deep black level thanks to the mini LED black lighting. The TV sports 120 HZ and RRB variable refresh rate but it does not support in or free sense like some other TVs in the price range if you are not planning on using the TVs for PC gaming however that won't matter all the much and I found that it excellent at console gaming TCL 6 audio the one area which is this TV does not excel in the audio department the built-in speaker are fine at best to you and you will want to use the TV and which an external sound bar to pair of speaker these some bars were but much and they are asked all out of details in the high end this is to be expected of a TV in this price range but it's still I hope my train TV start to get better speaker over the next few years.